I have to ask you about uh, the LA Philharmonic, because mm -hmm. you've been there four years now, and as I understand it, they just renewed your contact contract until the end of time. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, I guess, you know, <laughs> you have to check that, 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 that detail. Um, how's it been, How, and, and can you characterize them as a group, uh, as an orchestra, is there, or is that too narrowing a thing to do? Well, it's like a relationship, you know. I wow. love relationship, you know. Uh, at the beginning, uh, in my case, this was a beautiful girl, mm -hmm. you know, the orchestra. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't I wait to see where this is going. <laughs> 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 well, the private things I will not. Okay. I will not talk today. <laughs> but um, at the beginning, it was crazy because, you know, I was at 24 years old. And I wanted to eat the world. <laughs> and I went to Los Angeles to conduct a concert at the Hollywood Bowl, mm -hmm. you know, with a little amount of rehearsals. Mm -hmm. And it was a beautiful experience. It was a beautiful experience. Then I went back, and then the relation was getting more and more, you know, close. And I think I'm very proud because even if I'm still relatively young, um, we have developed in these four years for uh, uh, being a mus uh, music director in the orchestra an approach to the music that I was dreaming mm. to have with this orchestra. Mm. And this means a lot for a conductor when you have a group that trust and give to you what you think. Mm. and But at the same time, is I were talking before, you know, I, I respect a lot what I have, you know, the group of people that I have, mm -hmm. you know, the experience, their knowledge of the music, and I play with that, with my sometimes difficult ideas, mm -hmm. and taking also what they have in their sound, and also in their ideas. And right now, I can say that, you know, I'm very happy and when i think back you know sometimes you are there in, in in your mind you say well but what i'm doing here what what is the reason what is and right now after four years you know i see that we are a family yeah but a family a complete family because also i see this amazing connection with my other family the simon bolivar symphonic orchestra mm -hmm. of venezuela that we did the Mahler project, and we, we did the rehearsal together. This was like they were playing for years <laughs> together. And it's not because I was in front of the Bolivars before and I was with the Life Philharmonic. It's because they are two great families that, beca that, that became one. So I'm so thankful to, to the orchestra mm. because they have, they have been legendary for years, you know. Uh, I was the young one coming, yes. the, you know, the unexperienced one in front of them and you know uh, but they were there already yeah. you know conducted by Giulini, Sapeca Salone, and, uh, Subin Meta, Ormandy and and I think we are I'm so happy I'm so proud really so proud so it's, it's a, a family it's a family it's an amazing connection um, we should listen um, to uh, a little bit of the second movement of the Mahler Ninth because it's so clear you you uh, the connection you have it's, it's like you all have one mind uh, playing this um, crazy movement. <laughs> yes. This, this uh, I, I call it the Landler du Diablo or something. It's like, it's yes. a, it's a starts off as a little German dance and it just goes insane. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So, um, dirty. <laughs> dirty, it gets very dirty, yes. <laughs> so.